Has anyone ever experienced a real life porn scenario? Part 2. Don't forget to subscribe to the Reddit guy and turn notifications on. Thank you. I was 27 and working as a manager of a backpacker hostel in New Zealand. This backpacker chick comes in and asks if we have any rooms available. I show her the dorms and she agrees to take one of the beds in there. I check her in and head off to do some chores. About 5 minutes later the reception buzzer goes and it's this chick. She's now wanting to see a single room. So I show her the cheapest, it's basic but with a double bed. She decides she'd prefer her own room than sharing and opts for that instead. After getting her everything sorted, I carry her bag up to her room for her. Fast forward to later in the evening and she's in the living room drinking wine and chatting to people. I finish up about 10pm and head to the living room. Not many people are left now and so I sit down and we engage in conversation. An hour or so later and it's just the two of us left. I find out that she's actually 45, I thought she was about 35, and is traveling around NZ visiting all the places where they filmed Lord of the Rings as she's a massive fan. She also slipped in that she carries around a replica dress of one of the characters in Lord of the Rings, not sure who, but it was long, red, velvety if that helps. I suggest she's bullshizzing and that she should go and put it on to prove me wrong. Which she duly does. She comes back wearing this Lord of the Rings dress. I put my hands on her waist, twirl her around as if I'm having a proper look. Then decide that I've not had X in a couple of weeks, so this might be a good opportunity. We start kissing and I suggest we go up to her room. She seems really keen. So we head up. Get down to business, whilst she's still wearing the dress. After finishing up. I tell her that I can't stay cause if the hostel owner catches me fraternizing with guests, I'd be out a job. I actually don't know if that's the case, I just didn't want to stay. She's cool with that and I head back to my room. Next day, I walk into reception and the owner has a smile on his face. I think I'm rumbled, but no, he says, have you seen the guest book? I take a look and Lord of the Rings chick has left a message saying, lovely hostel and a great service from like that when I go there. And she'd left her email address. The owner asked about the great service and I replied, I carried her back to her room, to which he was impressed saying, see, going the extra mile really makes a difference. LOL if only he knew. Okay, so I'm in college living by myself in an apartment. One Saturday I'm sitting on my couch watching TV when I get a knock on my door. I open the door to find a really cute girl wearing a skirt and a spaghetti strap top. I tell her hello, and can I help her? She proceeds to try and sell me magazine subscriptions. Now normally, I'd tell whoever to piss off but since she was cute I played the part and inquired about what magazines she was offering. Turns out the only thing she was offering that I was interested in, I already subscribed to and told her that I was sorry. She proceeds to tell me how it's hot. It's the middle of the summer in the deep south, and how she isn't used to the heat yet. I ask her if she wanted something to drink. She said please, and then asks would you also mind if I come inside and just take a break for a minute? I told her that I didn't mind. So she comes inside and sits on the carpet in front of the couch, takes out some of her paperwork and begins counting up her numbers or something, not exactly sure what she was doing. I bring her some water and sit on the couch and make small talk. As I'm sitting there, I notice I can see the girl's panties with the way she was sitting. This girl had some really nice legs and I think she caught me looking because she said, oh, didn't know I was flashing you. I responded with, I barely noticed. Well, it's no big deal anyway, it's just like a bathing suit, she said, in one of the greatest strokes of genius to ever come out of my mind. I made the comment, oh really? If that's the case, then just take that skirt off. Before she even could react, I said, ha, ah, see, it's not the same. She looks at me, smiles, stands up, and takes it off. Holy. Freaking. Shits. I can't believe that worked, was all I could think. Not only did it work, she proceeds to walk over to the couch and sit next to me. Kiss her you dumbass went through my head, so I did. Lots of nudity ensued. Never saw or heard from her again. Don't even remember her name, it probably wasn't even her real name to begin with. 
went to the clinic to be sure she didn't give me anything funky, thankfully she didn't. Crazy crazy day. Craziest thing, I was in an adult bookstore one time buying pornos, before the internet, and while paying at the cashier I noticed a small CCTV behind the clerk. On the TV was a woman in an obvious gangbang. I pay for my stuff and walk back to the video booths, behind a curtain, and there she is, a woman getting ducked by a dude while 4-5 or five other guys stand around. I walk up the crowd and watch for a while, then take out my dock like everyone else, and just jack off and watch. I stood there jacking my half hard stick and watched 3 dudes come inside her, one come on her face, and one on her its, and without saying a word stepped in and ducked her. She was lying on her back directly on the cement floor with what looked like a quilt underneath her. I remember several things vividly. When I first got down on my knees to put my stick in her the smell of um was overwhelming. She was covered in it. The other thing I remember was how stretched out her kitty was and how I slid in without any problem. She was probably late 30s or early 40s, chubby with bigots. Dark hair, 90s perm, and a light bush. There was literally a stream of um running from her kitty to her asshole and then puddling on the quilt. While I was ducking her I was completely nervous and freaked out by the group of dudes over me and afraid someone was going to jizz on me. Because her kitty was so wet and loose it was taking me a while to get off, so in the 2-3 minutes I was inside of her rice or another two dudes um in her mouth. I start banging her like crazy and I'm inside of her and as soon as I stand up and black dude with a gigantic dock kneels down where I was, between her legs, starts slapping her dock against her kitty, and then rams it into her and she goes from lightly moaning to loudly groaning and whimpering. Some of the guys seem to be sticking around trying to get a second turn, but zipped up and left the store. In the time I was there I saw at least 10 guys I'm in or on her and she appeared to be loving it every time. This was right before Magic Johnson came out with AIDS, sometime around 1991. After I saw this I was convinced I had AIDS and went for an HIV test around Christmas of 1991 and it was negative, and promised myself to never get involved in an anonymous gangbang ever again. After living abroad for a couple years, I was reuniting with a recently married buddy, his wife, and another friend. After multiple drinks we all decided to go to a tea bar. It wasn't too busy but events proceeded more or less as one would expect. Eventually we can't find the other friend though. I go looking and proceeded through the bathroom, the bar, and made a wide circle of the club. This particular strip club has separate booths for lap dances on the far side of the establishment, but he didn't seem to be in any of those either. On the way back towards the stage I passed by a dancer alone in a couch. She stands up wearing her underwear bikini whatever and says, you look like you need a dance honey. I scope her out, she's not a knockout but still very cute brunette, my type. Drunk but not super drunk, I remember that I'm out of cash. Maybe after a trip to the cash machine. She returns the scope out and states, ah, you're pretty cute, just come with me. The stripper proceeded to give me a killer lap dance plus an HJ with some BJ action thrown in. When I was just out of college living on my own, I was living in an apartment. Where I parked, I could see into the apartment below me, no biggie usually. One night I came home pretty drunk and when I parked I could see in the window that my downstairs neighbor was watching Cinemax or some other soft porn. I quickly went upstairs to my apartment, got nervous for a second then said why not, put on my sexy sleeping tank top, messed up my hair and went down there. I knocked. It took him like 15 seconds to get 5 feet to the door and he was obviously flustered. I asked him if I could come in for a bit because I just heard a weird noise, he said okay. The TV was off so I just turned it back on, and yeah, the Cinemax was still on. I was so horny, I could see he still had a semi and it looked pretty big so when he started trying to explain, nerdy kinda guy, I bent down nice and slow to put the remote down fully showing down my shirt so he could see my boobs and I just looked up and said, it's fine, this is a great way to pass the time. I told him I had a boyfriend, I didn't, so I couldn't do much but I'd really like it if he would tell me if I need a boob job like that girl on TV. So I had him feel my its for a while, then I told him I needed to see his stick and I pulled down his pants and gave him a hand job. He said his roommate, I didn't know he had one, would be home soon. 
I really wished he would have walked in on me jerking his roomie off so that I could have tried for one in each hand, but it didn't happen. I told him to am on my its, then I tried to lick as much as I could off of them and said, okay thanks I feel better now I'm going to bed. Never talked to him again. I think he was forever nervous that it happened or felt like he took advantage of me, or maybe he had a GF law. I was playing Counter Strike in my dorm, that should reveal my general age, and two freshman girls who had lived under the shadow of their controlling parents wandered into my dorm room rather drunk, and it was obvious they hadn't done much drinking until college. They start talking to me, both red faced, and I already had an erection. I was shy, quiet, relatively attractive but so introverted that by that point, half semester, some people still barely knew me. But we continued talking about mundane stuff for a bit. I realize they aren't planning on leaving after 5 minutes or so and turn back to my PC to quit Counter Strike. As I do, they both start rubbing my shoulders. I turn off my monitor and arch my head back and smile, despite my utter shock and nervousness. They must have bought it because then they started biting me. No, seriously, little bits on my neck, shoulder, I arched my back, and I'm sure they saw my erection at this point, which is probably why they both started kissing my neck. A minute later, they are both on my lap, grabbing at me, kissing each other, me, etc. I'm not going to go into detail, but basically, we ended up on the bed, everybody naked, my dorm door open doing everything but intercourse. Thankfully, no one walked in while it was happening. But that didn't stop my entire dorm floor from finding out about it the next day. Every time I asked them about the incident after the fact, they just giggled and deflected. I still have no idea why they did it, and I continued to be friendly with them for the rest of the year, and hooked up with each of them at different points in the next semester. But never another threesome. This past Halloween I went to a bar in DC dressed as a stick in a box, can provide proof if absolutely necessary. While taking a few shots with my friends, I was approached by Takuga's milfs. I had skillfully cut a hole in the middle of the box and placed a tasty Cajun sausage in there, so as to utilize the, would you like to feel my sausage line. The blonde milf, around 38, began to talk to me and hit on me a bit. My female wingman started to coax her on and ask more questions. We found out she had an 18 year old son, me being 28, this immediately sparked my bucket list. Long story short, she asked to feel my sausage, reached into the box, asked if my other sausage was the same size, unzipped my pants in the middle of the bar and began molesting me. Her and I quickly wandered into the bathroom and I learned how to skillfully nail a milf with a stick in a box attached to your waist. To this day I have zero idea what her name is, but I was completely jumped by a cougar that night. Back in high school I had met this girl at one of our school's football games. Her and her friends went to a performing, visual arts boarding school in our town and they were there for ballet. We talked a bunch and she said she wanted to hang out so the next weekend I invited her to come and drink at my buddy's place. She was already hooking up with me in the car before we got there, my friend was driving. She kept whispering things about wanting to get alone this night. We got to the house and everything is going good. We're all in my friend's room, me and her are on a couch and she keeps putting my hand on her crotch and reaching down my pants. Everyone can obviously see because we're in plain sight in a room of people. Things got weird when one goes to the bathroom, a few go to get food downstairs and the others just take it as their cue to leave. Within a couple seconds, my stick's out, her pants are down and she's topless while sitting on me. At this point everyone comes back in the room. She doesn't seem to give a shiz so I'm squeezing her its and showing them off to everyone. Then she asked if there's a place we can go. So I take her to the bathroom literally right across from my friend's room. We start going at it hard. At one point I pick this girl up in my arms and start mashing her against the bathroom door. This combined with her repeatedly screaming my name is extra loud. I can hear everyone dying of laughter outside. We finish up and walk out and everyone's still keeling over. The girl doesn't give a shiz and of course I didn't. I'm pretty sure she had someone come pick her up but either way. After she left, everyone whips out their phones and starts playing back all their recorded audio. 
that Monday in school I had at least 10 or 15 people coming up to me saying they heard the recording. My friends were playing matches all over school.